What is going on guys? This is Nick with a different kind of video today, but um, I have this Justin Herbert PSA 9 mint condition um, card that's in a slab. But I noticed it's been bugging me for a while that there's like a cloudiness to the case. You can see that there when the light hits it, you can see a lot of different cloudiness. Not so much scratches on this one, although that, that can be an issue too, but this one is kind of just like a cloudiness. And so I was trying to figure out how we could fix that. And I, um, you know, watched some YouTube videos and stuff like that. And I'm gonna try something that um, has been tried by others that seems to work really good. I'm curious if it really does work as well as um, what it looked like in their videos with, with the small sample size, so. Um, today I figured I would just try it and see what kind of results I get. Um, we're going to use Meguiar's Scratch X, which is actually made for cars. Um, just fine scratch and blemish remover. So basically we're just going to try to buff out, um, the cloudiness on this case. So we'll see if it, we'll see how it looks like after, um, after I'm done. So we'll just put a little dot right there in the middle. And let's see what happens. I've got a microfiber cloth. My understanding is that you actually have to kind of put a lot of pressure on it, do little circular motions, and it's gonna make the camera move. Sorry about that. Wax on, wax off. I think I put a little too much on actually. Let's get off some of the excess. Because um, I don't think it's gonna get on the inside, but we just don't want to take any risks so we're just going to push kind of hard we're going to really try to buff it out i think i probably took too much of it off there There's some more we'll try to use that there i'm putting quite a bit of pressure on it you can always try it a second time too if it doesn't look like it did too much there we go. And then I'll take the dry part and just kind of wipe it down. It actually worked really well. Look at that. It's got a shine to it. I don't see any cloudiness. It's not perfect, but it looks to me like it's a lot better than it was. All right, so I hadn't really planned on this, but um, here is another Justin Herbert slab that I have that I bought on eBay and it's scratched up. You know, it still has some shine. Like it, it doesn't, I can't really tell that much when it's in my display case, but um, I was going through my slabs, figuring out what I could try to spruce up here. And this one has some cloudiness, but also lots of like little tiny scratches. You can see there's some here, some along the bottom here, on the side, and some kind of in the middle. So I figure we'll try the same thing and see what kind of result we get um, with the scratches. So I want to make sure that I don't, sorry, that I don't put too much on. So we're just going to try to get like a little... a little dab there right in the middle because um, what we don't want is for this to somehow seep into the case um, it's not supposed to but I have read some comments of people saying that they like put too much on and that happened so that's why on the last one I kind of tried to wipe the excess off um, because better safe than sorry so with that said we're just gonna give it a I'm pushing hard I'm not going to break the case, um, but, you know, pushing hard enough to really try to buff this out. Sorry again for the camera shake. Not too much I can do there. Little circular motions, pushing down, putting quite a bit of pressure on it here. And then we'll just wipe it, give it a nice wipe down with the other side of the rag here. Let's see. Let's 
Well, the scratches are definitely still there. Could probably try to do it again. It definitely looks and feels a lot better than it did. Um, yeah, let's try, let's try one more. Again, it's not so bad that I can't live with it, but just figured if, um, if this is a solution here, might as well clean it up a little bit. So I'll pay a little more attention to rubbing harder on the top and on the sides where a lot of the scratches are. looks really nice again you can still it's not perfect you can still see the scratches a little bit on the side there but they are they're a lot more when it's just sitting out here it's a lot more hidden it's nice and shiny so effectively we're we polished it as well so um pretty good pretty good pretty 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 Why? pretty good some of these scratches are really deep so those just aren't gonna they're just not gonna come out but if it's like really fine scratches that is kind of causing some cloudiness and stuff we saw on this one this looks way better than it did so um, I would say that this is a pretty good option um, it's again I got to just make sure that people understand it's not going to completely take out every scratch um, if, especially on this one, if the light hits it right, you can still see them, but it's a lot less pronounced. They're a lot less pronounced than they were. If this was sitting, this will be sitting in my display case and it just won't be very obvious that the case was pretty scratched up. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Yay or nay? Um, not again, it's not perfect, but I'm pretty happy that I tried it out, especially on this one. It made a big difference. This one, I do feel like it made a difference, even though it's not perfect. So what do you guys think? Have you tried this before? Have you tried something else that works better? Um, definitely comment that uh, below. And so other people can get value from that. But if you got value from this video or you found it useful at all, if you would please, please hit the like button and then subscribe to the channel. That would be awesome. Really appreciate that. It helps the channel grow, it helps me to be able to put out more videos. And that's all for today. Kind of a different sort of video, no ripping, but did some cleaning. So love you guys. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.